Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bonowitz, and I'm a faculty at Rutgers University, Newark. When a child decides to try pushing a button on a new toy, or to roll a ball down a slide, or to whisper a joke into a friend's ear, she's performing a kind of scientific experiment, and she's learning from the outcomes of this intervention. As a developmental psychologist, I think that play in childhood supports the same skills that underlie scientific reasoning. However, there's a growing trend in our educational system to begin formal schooling activities earlier and earlier and earlier, foregoing time for playful learning in these critical preschool years. It's not clear how children's longer term curiosity and scientific reasoning skills will be affected if these early childhood playful experiences are cut short. But what we're often lacking for educational reform are clear predictive theories about when and why children learn from play. If we're gonna help inform policy on the importance of playful learning, then we must provide cognitive theories that help us understand when young learners try to seek out new evidence and how they interpret the evidence of their experience. In my research, we're seeking to understand how children learn from play. We combine psychological studies of children's learning with computational models that help us incorporate ideas from statistics, computer science, and mathematics. Some of our models help make predictions about what kinds of actions will be most likely to bring about new information, and other models tell us about how a learner should update her beliefs as she encounters new evidence. What we find is that very young children often act in ways that suggest that they're engaging in much more sophisticated reasoning than we previously thought possible. We're just at the beginning of this endeavor in modeling children's behavior to help us understand when and why play supports learning. But we think that this research program will bring us closer to having a formal, evidence-based understanding of how playful learning can be deployed towards these broader educational goals.